Hmm. Looks like everyone's gone. It's clear that they've been abducted by the ship. I can only imagine for what nefarious purpose. I don't want to appear insensitive, but it's time to face facts. We're the oldest too now. Everyone depends on us. We should round everyone up. The kids will stay out all night if we don't. Okay, everyone's gathered inside. They're scared and confused. The kids will look for us to guidance. So, let's put on our brave face. How can we reassure them? It's kind of hard to say, but if it's a bunch of kids and their family has been abducted, I mean, it's pretty obvious they've been taken into space. If we say they went camping, that's going to be a lie. And a lot of lot of people saw they went. Let's tell them the truth. Hmm. The truth might be harsh, but it would come out eventually. No shit. And they'd likely resent us if we tried to <laughs> try. They do find out. You know, you're quite mature for your age. Truth is always best, and with, with this situation, there were some people who saw what happened. Ahem. <clears throat> Listen up, everybody. It's not easy to say this, but everyone who was in the village was abducted. We don't know where they, they were taken, or even why. While it's tempting to imagine the worst, let's remember that they are capable group. They got the strongest martial artist master in Cadell. They got the smartest scientist I know in R in Rutia. And Kit can cook. He's right. The, <laughs> the ones that are in bad shape were doomed. <laughs> Help. Man, that was exhausting. But that everyone has calmed down a bit, we can plan our next move. I already have a few ideas of where we could start our search. It has to do with the star rock that fell today. Were you able to find it? So it's not a star rock, but a golem? Even better! We can extract more information from it. It's not, it's no coincidence that this thing fell from the same day that ship appeared. They must be connecting, connection in some way. It's too bad the golem was broken. <laughs> Yikes! That scared me. If Rudy were here, she would have been able to fix it. Then maybe we could give, give us some answers. <laughs> hey, that's not a bad idea. Even without Rudia, there should still be plenty of scientists in the big cities. Atia Town lies the west of here. It's as good a place as any to start looking. So it's decided. You'll look for leads in Atia. And while you're gone, I'll watch over the village. I'll keep it in tip top shape for when the villagers return. You better. I don't want this shit ending up like Lord of the Flies. So what do you think of our real chances are? I mean, that spaceship. We probably look like bugs to something, something that big. <laughs> we have to try. Yeah, no matter how small the chances, we have to try. The way you say that really gives me hope. Thanks, Gail. If we preserve, if we persevere, surely something good will result. That's what Grandma Nana would say. It's 
been a long night. Let's get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. Can I, like, hug him? I'll stay up for a little longer. I'm just collecting my thoughts. You should sleep. You must be tired. You did great today. Me? Aw, oh, shucks. I'm just faking it. Perhaps I should take Kit's room. I think it's what he would have wanted. All the other kids are already asleep. <laughs> it's the nerd kids room. <laughs> Family photo from last year. Kit, where are you? A bed. Comfortable enough to sleep in. Well, new day. Let's see what we can do to save those people. The world might be ending, and I have to study. Preposterous. Come on, everyone! You don't get to neglect your stu studies just because Nana isn't here. Now, who can tell me why the Paro crossed the road? I'm not gonna cry anymore until everyone returns. Aww, you're so brave. But I mean, honestly, it's good that they, you know, just face the facts. Because I wouldn't want to lie to them and then later on have to regret it. Is there anything in here that the kids could use? Doesn't seem like it. I kind of feel like I want to just stay in the town and help them, like, kind of get used to daily life without the parents. I feel bad that they have to do all this alone. You're cooking? I was assigned the cooking duty. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Here, be my first victim. Uh, customer. Well, isn't just like what Grandma Nana used to make? Those abductors were so selfish. Did they have to take our paro as well? Being able to walk out to the coop and pet Fluffy Paro was one of my life's simple pleasures. Aww. Yeah, I'd miss it if I lost a pet that I cared about. I wonder how the rest of those you know, kids are doing. I've been working on the potato patch. All the live, all the living, live long day. Man, working in the fields is not fun at all. Alex tricked me. He must have had like a draw straws on who gets chores. Hmm. Is anybody even in the house? Is like. There's all these rooms the kids could be using instead of all of them staying at the orphanage. Please tell me no kids are fucking in this room. Like, they better not be messing with some shit, because this stuff is, like, dangerous. I don't think the kids should be in this place. Yeah, I thought so. Good.
Hmm. Well, I'm guessing all the kids have their chores out of them. I feel bad for them, man. All their parents are gone, they're all sad and worried. And they have no one to, like, no one is like their parents figure to talk to. Hi, Gail. I've decided to watch over my dad's dojo while he's away. And of course, the best place to watch something is from high up. Don't let my young age fool you. I know everything my old man knows. Any questions? Well, I'm not, I'm not an expert on this one, but I can try to teach, teach you. My old man calls it Ukumi. When you're hit by someone really strong, you bounce around, right? Ukumi negates the bounce and gets you back on your feet more quickly. Supposedly, you perform it by pressing L2 right when you're about to crash. If you want to practice the timing, jump from a great height and light from here to the ground. Right before you land, press L2 to roll. You got the timing down for your gooey. If you land with a hard thud, then you still need practice. Oh. So I have to jump off of a high place, huh? Oh! That wasn't so bad. It's like right when you're about to hit. Huh? Hi, Gail. We sent some snacks for you. Take it on your journey. Take as much as you can carry. Oh, I ain't gonna do that. You kids are gonna need this, too. Uh... We spent all morning shuffling through the storage room. There's way too much junk in there. Hmm, storage room. Maybe I could clear some space? Hmm, no? They must mean that building I was at before. Yay, I'm glad you have use for the supplies. Mm, I feel bad taking the supplies because these kids might need it more than I do. Is anybody even watching the gates? Mm. Well, he wanted me to go to the next city over. It's like a cave up there. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> that shit's too dark. Can't even see where I'm going. This should be the other city, right? Huh. Another scientist, maybe? Oh, shit. Um, hello? Anyone here? Oh! Wait. Instead of a fire blaze before you, raw food can be cooked here if equipped. Oh. Raw food, huh? Thank you. 
But cooking the food seems to do a lot more for me than anything else. Did they abduct everyone? Like, even here? Should have seen that way. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Anybody around? A really big building. Hmm, that door is locked. That this door is not. Hello. Hmm. Money. All right. Okay, I guess not. So the place is locked up tight. Hmm. Well, that sucks. There's nobody around here. Hmm. Yep. go through the flowers? Yeah, there's a high chance I'll be attacked by bees if I do. Please don't be upset, bees. Yeah, screw you, spiders. I know what you're about. important for something. Huh, I kind of like these bees. They're not aggressive. Ow. Until I get freaking beat up by a spider waiting to ambush my ass. That didn't work out too well. Ah, fucker! Get my health back a little shit. Wait, who are you? Hi, welcome to the honeybee lab and in. Please, come in. Dad says this suit will protect against bees. 
I think it protects me from making friends. I could be your friend, why not? that thinks it's strange we're living in the midst of a giant bees. When I'm old enough, I'm so moving. Yeah, no shit. I, mean, I don't blame you for that one. Lab size within acceptable range. Check. Ah, drinking milk tea. Feeling giant bees. Simple things in life. Okay. Oh shit, I overjumped it. Oh, I thought I could climb it. Collecting a lot of nectar. Huzzah, traveler! Please, make yourself at home. Who are you? I'm Hachi. Leading researcher of these giant and beautiful specimens. Some might say I'm their only researcher. It's not a competitive field. I can't see why. Aren't bees just lovely? Dude, you and me have completely different ideas of bees. Those fuckers sting the shit out of me and I hate them. In real life, in this game, they're not as aggressive. They tend to chase me and try and sting me whenever they can. Can we talk more? What are your opinion on giant bees? Well, even theory is, is that they were genetically engineered by the ancients. They're destined... Wait, they're designed a resilient bee that would not falter in the harsh conditions of pre-awakened Earth? I imagine our ancestors were thinking of a way to provide for our future generations. Oh, uh, how, we, how we like to wish that. Those honey drops, they are sweet candy and make kids extra hyper. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'd like to take one home for the kids. Oh, looks like your bag is too full. Oh. A freshly baked honey bun. I eat one every day. A secret to good health, perhaps. Uh, I can't, I can't buy anything because I have no room. Welcome to the Honeybee Lab in the end. Rest your weary bones for a spell? Uh, yeah, why not get my health back? Thanks for your patronage. Rest well. I don't mind supporting their research. They, that actually might come in handy someday. Alright. Full health and ready to kick some ass. Let's do this. Thank you. That was quick. Did you have a good rest? Yeah. Hmm. Huh? Can't pick up a honey drop? Oh, shit. Uh... help your business. That makes me feel a little better. Well, I mean, granted it's not like a crazy business, but hey, it's a business. Come on, Hawk, come down in there, you bitch. There you go. Oh, there's a blue one up there. Fucking spiders. I hate spiders.
Yes. Oh, fucker. Huh? Can't make a more nectar? Shit. Get out of here. I can't really see how far that is. Oh good, he's not gonna attack me. Oh, I maxed on that guy, okay. Eh, drink it. There you go. Hmm. I gotta time this jump then if I'm gonna go for that one. Shit. Okay, I can probably drop down if I get to that one. I just have to remember how far it is. It's the... Okay, it's literally when this bee goes where? The bee down below and he comes up, it's the third one after he goes up? Okay, it's the third one after he goes up. Okay. Okay, yep. So it should be this one where he's guarding it. Yeah, there we go. Moonstone. Now, what am I going to do with it? Hmm. Maybe the nectar is, like, important for a mission or something. Oh, damn it. Oh! Yeah! Energy gem! Your maximum energy is increased. Nice. Ooh! Um... Hmm. Ah, damn it. I messed that up. Fucking spider scared the shit out of me. Oh, there's like no platform there. Ah, oh, damn it! Hit the B. I overjumped it. Ow, ow, fucker, ow, fucker! Little bastard, man, it just kept stinging me. Um. I gotta get, get over here real quick. Having 12 health and going into a dark, scary cave, probably not the best idea. But at full health, maybe. Yeah, especially as someone that can't swim. Okay. Gonna have to come back here at some point. Hmm. Oh, good lord, it's like a destroyed bridge.